the disaster. Goodbye. Get off my screen. All right. You ready for the powerful one? It's the big day. He's gone. He's off YouTube. Did you notice? Go to Joe Rogan's channel. All the videos are gone. I talked to Xander. Remember, Xander was the first one who discovered that uh, Spotify did not port over. They still haven't. All those missing episodes. No Gavin McInnes on Spotify. No Alex Jones episodes except for that new one. Milo Yiannopoulos, gone. And uh, Xander found out that uh, yesterday, well, I guess everyone found out, there are only 87 episodes up of the Joe Rogan experience on YouTube. The rest have been privated. And now we're supposed to go to Spotify to watch Joe. What a mess. I don't think Joe even considered, or he did consider. You know, there are two options here. Either Joe wanted to lose his audience altogether and just take the money and run and not have an audience because it's not worth all the chirping that he gets day in and day out and all the trouble he gets in, or he didn't consider anything. Think about the millions and millions. Okay, let's pretend on YouTube he gets 6.1 million views on average for a show. 75% of those are autoplays. Every time I watch a Rogan episode, I'll fall asleep to it, and I wake up and they've played six episodes of Rogan. I'll be watching another show on YouTube. I fall asleep to Erica Costell. Guess what comes up after automatically while I'm sleeping? Rogan! So if that's happening to me, it must be happening to another million people. And those YouTube views, he might be getting 500,000 views and the rest are just replays, autoplays. Who knows? But Spotify don't have no autoplay. So um, automatically you're going to cut out all those autoplays, right? Spotify also doesn't have an ecosystem of people that are connected to it waiting to see what's in their subscription box. Don't forget every commenter, every time their comment gets liked or replied, it's another replied view. to, they're clicking it again. A clicking it again, another view. Um, so those views on YouTube are so inflated. Does Spotify know that? Is Spotify, we don't see his views on Spotify. Is Spotify going, you only get 50K views now. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. And no one really came over and started using Spotify as a podcast player yet why would we do that it's it's cumbersome and they're not offering us anything but joe rogan so they're not offering offering us a better user experience than youtube what is in it for me besides needing to see joe rogan to come over it's to spotify a much worse experience Ooh. the only thing that they do have is joe rogan himself yeah so you wonder um you know the success joe rogan had on youtube was it due to youtube's economy its ecosystem Will he be able to get those results on Spotify? I know. I didn't even know he had a show the other day because how am I supposed to know? I only knew he had a show by going to YouTube and checking my subscription box or going to his Instagram, which most people aren't going to do every day. And I, I'll say this. Joe Rogan has done an awful job of letting you know that, oh, yeah, reminder, I'm moving to Spotify December 1st and there's no more YouTube. Did he even acknowledge this? I don't know. Um, so the Tom Green episode on YouTube, it's gone. These episodes are gone now. Even uh, last week's episodes are, are gone. He just left up the main ones like Miley yeah. and Kanye and stuff. And the popular uh, guests. We, this could be the end of him. I mean, really, uh, nobody's getting alerts. How are you getting alerts that he's live or that he's uh, got a new show out? We're supposed to all just wait by our cell phones and log into Spotify. I to him on Spotify to see what happens. So Okay, so we'll <laughs> let you know what happens. Yeah, we're going to see. But I saw people saying they like don't give you notifications at all. There's no comment system. Check. There's no notifications. There's no um, time codes. There's no shareable links. You can't share a certain part of it. And listen, this is fine if he doesn't want that. I don't want that. But that's what made him big, you see, is all of that. You know, uh, And he doesn't have that anymore. He's also so mean. And that's what we're going to show you today is this, um, uh, we're going to do Whole Foods first. Yes. This is before his big Spotify scandal. This is John Mackey, the CEO of Whole Foods. Started out as a health food store, turned into a more regular store. Now they've been bought by Amazon, right? Prices of ribeyes are down to thirteen ninety nine a pound, but they're tasteless. They're really some <laughs> of the worst. They look beautiful. The ribeyes at Whole Foods, they're cut right. They have great marbling. Not very good tasting. Kind of tastes like water. So I think they're doing something to the animal. 
Um, let's see this. He treated the owner of Whole Foods like complete crap. We're on a three-peat here. This is a three-peat. We saw him treat Tom Green like crap. We saw him treat, uh, now we're going to see the owner of Whole Foods and another guy at the and day And he was after. even treating Donnell Rawlings like, like crap, crap the day before Tom Green. These used to be few and far between. You know, this is why we started watching Rogan because we go, ooh, look how he subtly gets mad and treats people like complete garbage. That's what we're going to see here today. The CEO of Whole Foods had to bite his tongue. Boy, did he have to hold his breath to not snap at Joe. Watch what Joe did. Here you go. You're oh, going to love it. You have to find it on Spotify. I just realized. Oh, realize my God. <laughs> Look at this. It. Video unavailable. This video is private. Uh, how is? Let's find out what this looks like. I've never watched Joe on Spotify. So here's the Spotify app. You can see uh, I was just listening to to this. Okay, a little Desner here, which I wouldn't mind hearing again really quickly. Uh, G Desner. Okay. So now we search. Let's see this. This is how it works. Let's see. Rogan. There he is. The Joe Rogan experience pops right up. Let's expand this for some people here. And we'll see how uh, Joe Rogan works on Spotify. The Joe Rogan Experience, um, John Mackey. Let's see how this works. I'm going to click on it. Click play, maybe. Okay. Frozen meat. Never done this. Oh, wow. Frozen here meat, it is. Some vegan uh oh. Cheese. Ooh, the yeah, players down here. Uh oh. Am I going to be able to do my Rogan watches in this manner? I know, it's this is what we're discovering. We're trying to discover in real time, are we going to be able to even cover Rogan? Did he switch to Spotify just because of me? <laughs> so how do I full screen this video? Hold Look. on. There's definitely a full screen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's got to yeah, be there this. We go. Okay, thank God. So here it is. Oh, no, it puts a gradient over my screen when I pause, which is bad. Puts this text over and darkens the image when I pause. Let's see. And it's very it's slow. Really good. It's really good. It's just Here, let's go to the beginning. Uh oh. It's gonna be hard. It's our first Spotify Rogan the coverage. Rogan experience. Train by, Train day. by day. Joe Rogan go. podcast by night. All, All day. day. Uh oh. Then it does this. JRE is supported by no. Ubisoft with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No hey, way. Hey, I have premium Spotify have... and I am not supposed to get ads. Wait, wait, wait. Crime, crime. Look at this. Wait a minute, folks. We have premium Spotify. The deal was get premium Spotify. No ads. We were just interrupted with an unskippable advertisement from Ubisoft. So now, and I have ad block, I have all this, I cannot escape the I've ad. I've never heard an ad on Spotify before in my life, and I use it every day. So the show just starts. You are breaking the user agreement with the user right now, Spotify. This is not going to be uh, go over well for people. Definitely not me. Um, very upset right now. So let's see. we got to play through this ad now. Launched on every We're showing you how console, it works. Including the new Can't PlayStation skip it. 5. Xbox Series X and S, and the game is killing it right now. It was rated 100 out of 100 by this Gaming is crazy. Trend. Seriously. 9.2. People are very excited. People are screaming, Crime! Whoa, what the fuck? Crime, what the fuck? Yes, some people say. Which is kind of how I'm looking at it. Yes, this is the Rogan letting you down, like I always said he would. Watch this. By game I got to listen to this whole ad here. PC Gamer is calling it the best Assassin's Creed to date. The list goes on and on. And he's selling Assassin's Creed. He's never played it. Never even picked up the remote, the controller. He's selling you Assassin's Creed, the watch game. Play it on your Fitbit. Seriously, how could they do this? I mean, in they when don't you care. have free Spotify, it plays an ad between every five songs or so. Yeah. And this is right away. The intro started. I'm hit with an ad now that I must listen to. There is no skipping. These guys have been working on Valhalla for the past three years. We got to hear it. To bring this Viking fantasy to he life. He did this because of me. Play as a Viking raider who's been forced Goodbye, to move his clan from the brutal conditions of Norway and find a new home in England. But those fuckers don't want them there. So you're going to have to fight for your uh. people's survival. You get to lead some epic raids. What a and sellout. you'll launch massive assaults on your enemies. And you know. 
uh, we're going to have to do a Joe Rogan advertisement segment eventually. Do you know he's running about 40 consecutive ads at the same time simultaneously? As if he doesn't have enough money? Why would you need to do ads when you have $100 million plus in the bank? I mean, he was making, he probably had $100 million before the $100 million. Easily. Maybe not easily, but he might have. And uh, to do this to us, and when you see the amount, anything he posts on Instagram is an ad. Anytime he tags him when it's an ad. Anytime he talks about a product or service on the show, it's an ad. He's getting paid for it all, not disclosing any of it with the FTC. There's no warning. This product includes paid advertisement. I don't get that choice when I go to premium Spotify to play this. It should say this includes paid advertisement because then I get to make the decision. So he's an ad man now, Assassin's an ad junkie. Greed, and if saying. you want to know why ads are bad, I could give you a hundred we- reasons why. I could sing a song about it called "A Hundred Reasons Why Ads Are Bad." Uh, the The biggest one is when you have ads, you can't say nothing. You can't say nothing because you'll lose them. So Joe, knowing that Joe has kept all his adver- advertisers throughout the years, means that he's abided by their wishes so you're getting content that is advertiser approved and think how strict that content must be okay think how strict advertisers are they won't even advertise with you on youtube if you say a swear so imagine what joe is not saying and not allowing to get through the air because of all these sponsors and got over 40 of them how do you abide by 40 different companies wishes at the same time well i'll tell you you play it safe and if you thought advertising was fine, oh, just skip it. Well, this is the problem. Now you're going to see the problem in real time. This is throughout England. You get to pillage the shit out of them and bring resources back to your people. To be a Viking, you have to fight like a Viking. The brand new combat system lets you be absolutely brutal. Dual wield weapons like axes and swords. And, Dec- and by the way, to lend your voice, I always said this, when podcasters started doing live reads, you know, it was always pathetic in radio. But those were radio hosts, pathetic radio hosts. So, yeah, if you want to be in Cincinnati on in the morning and your name is Rover, yeah, lend your voice to a mattress commercial. You're already a loser. But to see people like Joe Rogan lend their celebrity to shit like this and put their name behind Satva Mattress and all this shit, how cheap how how value how much uh, you don't value yourself at that point you're gonna lend your voice to this at the same time trying to portray this free thinking guy you're not a free thinking guy you're selling me fucking arcade games here from major corporations <laughs> I, I i think it's the biggest disservice to the people ever take your enemies you'll even have a variety of bows for long range attacks And the story will be your very own. You'll get to customize your Viking skills and what your Viking looks like. You'll make alliances. They'll say anything that's on the paper. Imagine that. You couldn't make me say something on a paper for a million dollars. You couldn't. And these guys will say whatever it is. And it doesn't matter. It's not even that big of money sometimes. They'll say it all. That's called a sellout. (laughs) That used to be looked down upon by everyone. And all of a sudden, it's cool to get that back. People in the chat keep saying, you can skip these, but you can't. There's literally no way to click past this if you want to watch this episode. Maybe I could fast forward to the end of the ad and continue to Valhalla. Here we go. Now it goes into the show. Wait, no. Another ad. CBD MD is a Oh, my God. You You can't skip them. You can fast forward them. But it only gives you, it's like HBO when you go into HBO and it gives you a one minute timeline. So this timeline is just for the ad. So there's no show until I get through these ads. Now he's doing another one for a CBD company. These products I use every day. It's just, this is an easy ad for me to do. I don't even have to read their copy. I am a gigantic fan of their oils. I'm a gigantic fan of their time. I'm a gigantic fan of their oils. <laughs> Imagine if I, I'm a gigantic fan of their oils. You shouldn't be a fan of oil. Is and there's no oil that I'm a fan of that is more important than telling you about how much Santino sucks or how Josh Denny's middle name is Valentine. 
the airtime that your ears are listening to is more valuable to me than however much money they could pay me to sell you on an oil that I don't believe in. I mean, it's despicable. You should be insulted. I get it. You could come up with a hack to skip through it. You could cover your ears, too. But the fact that they have the nerve to do it to you is the problem. Not about to. Oh, you could skip it, though. He's still doing it. In particular, their CBD Recover. It's fantastic. Right, let's try to, uh, I could fast forward CBD through that. Products there we go. CBD let's see if there's energy. another one. Butcher box. Another one. Another one. Three, I, I'm still unable. The show is locked. I pay how much a month for Spotify Premium? How much? Ten bucks, I think. Ten dollars a month. I am on my third ad that I have to imagine if you're driving in your car. You I put was on Rogan. There would be no ads. Here's the deal. I'm driving in my car. I've got my Bluetooth hooked up. I got my car play on. I put on Rogan. I can't skip through the ads. Three different ads on three different timelines while I'm driving. I can't. I am beholden to those ads. Unless I want to get in a damn wreck. By the way, that sound effect is a bomb with some glass exploding from a building. Is not a car crash. We're not pathetic. So this is really bad. Here's another one for Butcher Box. He doesn't use Butcher Box. He cooks elk. I thought. So now he's using a subscription box, selling me the scrap foods that the grocery store couldn't sell because they were rejected for quality. Listen to this. Butcher Box makes it easy to get high quality, humanely raised. Meat. This wasn't on our agenda today. To cover the <laughs> yeah, ad I didn't thing. know this would happen. We were supposed to cover the Whole Foods guy. Well, this is a new experience for us. Well, this is testing out Spotify for yeah. the first time versus YouTube. So this is the user experience. You can trust. They deliver 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef, free-range organic chicken, okay, heritage breed this, pork, though, and wild... That. Yeah, I know. And it goes... Each ad is two minutes that I'm skipping. Two full minutes of lying through his teeth. For money. More money than he ever needs. Flash Rogan. And now it starts. Wait. Wow. Now it starts. Three ads. Three two-minute ads. Six minutes. Um, thank you for welcoming me to Austin. And thanks for the food. No one's ever brought me food here. I'm a grocer. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you, you brought me uh, actual frozen meat, so thank you very much. Frozen meat, some vegan cheese. Um, yeah, okay, that so will go to... Ooh, and the pause is bad. So here's the owner of Whole Foods, ready to go mano y mano with Joe. Ready for the showdown? <laughs> and here's Joe, and they start off nice. And by the way, he hikes his chair up. Everyone's been talking. He hikes his chair up so high. If you saw this slope, you could ski down it. Look at that booty. Look at that fucking booty like Dante Nero coming out of a rhino cage, coming to get your kid at the zoo. Can I even click in the middle? Look at this. Can't click in the middle. I got to come down here to a play button, and it takes a second. Friends. Look. I'm it's really good. This is I'm bad really for good. Red Bar. Does it taste good, or is it good for you? It, it's both. It's just made and strictly look, out of almonds. And look, if I hover, favorite. this is terrible. If I hover, they put a gradient over the top. You see that CNN video I was watching earlier with Russell Schultz? When you pause or hover, it blacks out the screen. Why? So that I can't do my zoom-ins or screenshot you, make it a ridiculous face? This is a mess. We're going to have to record each episode of Rogan and have it on a well, QuickTime player. Well, people are already yeah. re-uploading the new Rogan -uploading. episodes to YouTube, and they're So now still I don't up. feel so bad about the Red Bar Clippers. They're doing this to Rogan, and everybody is betraying Rogan's <laughs> wishes. So this is just what happens when you're a, a famous star. broadcaster. <laughs> So uh, now I understand. Um, but let's see Anyways, what happens here. this guy here. starts off the show by gifting Rogan some cheese. Oh, well, let's and see Rogan that. Let's immediately see. immediately shits on it. Let's see. You got to go back, which is going to be so annoying. Look, I can't even go back. This is a hard so play. It's just like almonds. Look at this. Oh, this is a mess. Joe this changed. Be our last day the Joe Rogan experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan podcast. Let's watch the intro, then we'll show you how horrible he treats him. We're brought to you oh, by no. Traeger Grills. I'm I have been no. a fan of Traeger Grills. And it's a different ad. It's a different ad. I rewound to go back to the beginning, and now I'm stuck with another ad for a different product. Traeger Grills. Ah, this is 
the curse. This is my fourth ad, and I'm paying $10 a month so that Joe could buy more arrow. <laughs> Guys. What are we going to do? Somebody can clip this and put this on their clip channel. Just get it out there. Get it out there. The America must know. You could clip the whole segment, put it out there, for link part. it to Red Bar. Just say, go listen to Red Bar, this guy. So now what? Let's skip through the Traeger ad. All I did was simply rewind. Rogan at checkout for free shipping. I'm hit with another ad. I'm not You're kidding. You're probably going to get three. Every time you restart it, they're going to put that three That doesn't there. make sense. That's not fair. I'm getting another new ad for Manscaped. I'm not kidding. We are brought to you by Manscaped, the very best in men's below and above the belt grooming. Manscaped has got a Okay, another two, and they're all two minutes. So let's fast forward through that. Of Manscaped this year. Another ad. Simply Safe is award winning. What the fuck? This is just an ad. You can't watch the show. So imagine complaining about the red bar. Oh, the red bar player skipped once. At least it didn't make you watch six ads. And he has a hundred million dollars. I have zero. I'm gonna skip through this. Flash Rogan. Okay, the show's done. The Hello, show's John. done. Today. Hey Joe. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Okay. Um, thank you. Let's let it play. I don't want to touch anything. Thanks for the food. No one's ever brought me food here. Tom I'm a grocer. Papa That's has. what I do. <laughs> yeah, Tom Papa has. I know, but you, you brought me uh, actual frozen meat, so thank you very much. Frozen meat, some vegan cheese. Um, yeah, that will go to friends. The it's really good. It's um, really good. Does it's it taste cut. good, or is it good for you? It, both. It's just made strictly out of almonds. That's all that's there. Oh, culture. really? Yeah, taste it. So he starts out this guy. <coughs> chives. <coughs> it's delicious. I really Sorry. just like almonds. Look, I can't pause. I can't do nothing. So this guy brings him vegan cheese. I deny that, too. But rude way to start off the interview. No, thanks. I'll be giving that away, he says. So here's this guy. Let's let it play so you can get an idea of what this guy's like. Can I just have almonds? You can, but... <laughs> but Look how You'll terrible like this cheese. is. Bad experience. I know you're an open-minded man. Yeah, so I am. I'll try, try. I'll try your vegan cheese. Okay. But you, you're sending me mixed signals. Fro you gave me frozen elk meat and vegan cheese. I'm, you know, covering all bases. <laughs> <laughs> um, w what I want to talk to you about, well, first of all, you have a book out. The book is uh, Conscious Capitalism. No, that book that's out is Conscious Leadership. Oh. It's a sequel to... Big mess up there at the right, beginning. I have this one right here. Yeah, because I brought that today. And Conscious Leadership... A sequel to Conscious Capitalism. Right. Um, <clears throat> that, to, for a lot of people, those are that's an oxymoron. That's jumbo shrimp or military intelligence, right? Conscious Capitalism. Today, wow. in, this, in this day and age, this very strange time, there's a large segment. I shouldn't say a large segment, but it's a very squeaky wheel. There's a segment of our culture that thinks that capitalism okay. You're is You're horrible. Evil. I can't even pause. Okay, what's our first time code uh, You here? can go to 3940. Thir can I, though? Let's see, <laughs> 3940, can I get there? Let's see what happens in this weird, strange time. 3940, very hard to get to. You could go to 3848. Um, you could click the 15 second back button. 3919, let's see. This back button doesn't, oh, takes me right to 3949, is that close enough? I'm sure it's fine. This is impossible. Red bar's over. <laughs> So people are like, oh, well, you care about your health. Here we like, go. You're, it's synonymous with healthy foods, even in the name, yeah. Whole Foods. That was our brand when we were up-and-comer, and then when we got really rich. Uh, America loves the up-and-comer, but mm -hmm. then once you have become really successful and you're making a lot of money, they start to turn on you. Oh, no. Well, we became Whole Paycheck. Ooh. Who, wrote, who said that? I don't know, but oh, whoever did, I wish God, they, I never saw Joe. it. So... We became Whole Paycheck. Everybody knows that. Whole Foods, more like Whole Paycheck. Joe says this. Who says that? <laughs> Out of touch, money bags Joe. You don't know that people think Whole Foods is expensive? And just let this guy tell his story. Who said too. that? Who said that? Um, just like believe him. That's 20 million it. people. It's a pretty big meme about our company. You should know that, Joe. Can I call you, Joe? This guy reminds me of one of the characters from Big Love. You know, they owned a hardware store. They owned all this stuff. So, okay, um, Joe interrupts. Who calls you whole paycheck? 
I you never saw that until right now. You just shit on yourself in a way that I never <laughs> – all I heard was Whole Foods. I never heard Whole Paycheck. Wow. I think you, you, your team didn't do good research. Whoa! <laughs> no team. So is this when you sold to Amazon? No, no. The Whole is Paycheck thing has been around okay. for a long time. <laughs> Oh, so bear with me here. Just this is tough to cover. I mean, I really think this whole Spotify deal could be to uh, foil me here with my coverage of Rogan. Don't worry. We will find a workaround next time. You're not going to get away with this, Joe. You're being covered. All right. What's our next uh, code 136. here? 136.55. 136.55. But wow. I'm skipping over one where they're talking about the left, and Joe goes, people are so married to their ideas. I'm not married to any of my idea my ideas. They're not a part of me at all. Oh, yeah. 136. Wow, look at this. This is going bizarre. One hour, 36. No, I know. Look, and it kicked me back to 4050. This is a mess. Oh, no. Does it count by the minute and not the hour? Yes. No. I'm afraid we can't even do this. <laughs> Wait, go ahead and see if that channel that is uploading his bootlegs has uploaded this one. Remember, there was a channel, Joe Rogan, yeah. something this morning. We saw somebody was bootlegging him. And if you got the link, send it in. We, I, I can't do this. I'm going to go mad trying to cover him on Spotify. I mean, I literally don't have the right time codes unless they can show But it might me. sync up. Let's see. Let Find that Rogan bootleg channel. Let's go to that. Because you can't even work this uh, player here. This could be the real reason. You don't want to be covered anymore, huh? Can you download episodes if you have premium? That's a good question, Jules. Can you download episodes? I saw on his Reddit that they said you can download the audio only, but not the video. So yeah. if you want to watch the video, you have to use your Well, data. that makes sense. You can't. So, um, all right. So that is a no. I can't find a re-upload of this yet. I'm still looking. Okay. If anyone could find a re-upload of this, we might have to download this and save it for next time then because this is going to destroy the whole flow of this thing. I mean, literally, if it, I don't have the time codes because I only have one we hour. We can't do it because the do time math. codes go, yeah, you would have to that do extreme math and the player. It doesn't work. I mean, it's really frustrating. I guess you work. could go to 96.55. Is that right? I'm horrible at math. Um, Cause that's like, but even when you do, look, watch. 96.55. Okay. 97.55. It, it, look. Oh. Okay. Got me there. I mean, this is a mess. 96.23. Okay. I can do it here. 96.23. Let's see. Lead to stress like this. See if it's yeah, right. Um, I went the route of saying my best chance to hold off COVID is to get my immune system as strong as possible. I went that route. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the right route to go. So that's the route you better go if you own Whole Foods. Yeah, it's going to be – I always say that uh, – Wait, did we get, get a link here? Are... Let's see what this no, is. That's no, not it. it's not. Okay, why are they sending this thing? That's the guy who's been uploading them, but he doesn't have this episode. Okay. Mike, play and use skip. It doesn't work that way. What are you talking about? Just the 15 seconds. Yeah, skip of course. You got attack. that, but – Yeah, <laughs> right? That's, at least not for another 25 or 30 years. You kind of have to be healthy. I, there'll be a lot of people that Let's will see if it happens. laugh if I do croak oh, from something like that. It's no. like, see, a lifetime of eating all that healthy food, and he died at a young age. Do you practice what you preach? Are you a, a, a healthy it? eater, okay. or do you have like a few bad I, habits? I'm, I, I don't think I have any bad habits. but None? I, I don't think I have any bad habits, but I do occasionally indulge myself. But you what said, do you indulge you said with? habit. Oh, okay. What uh, do you indulge with? Uh, probably. I mean, I occasionally might have a bowl of coconut ice cream Ooh, uh, that's it coconut ice cream that's how you go crazy <laughs> i so didn't say go crazy i said this is kind of the theme joe gets stuck in this i'm an alpha you i eat whatever i want but you know joe's well because this everybody. guy's not a meat eater so that yeah. makes joe furious. oh there it is so when someone doesn't eat meat they're insane which i agree with but uh you would think Joe at this time could understand that. This is supposed to be a DMT-driven, kumbaya type of guy. You know what you're getting into here. And he's going to challenge this poor man across every turn. Meanwhile, Joe's telling people he's keto one week. The next day, oh, I had the biggest meal of pasta the other day. The next week, oh, I'm carnivore. And then you hear, oh, but I had uh, 100 root beers. It was so good. Okay, well... Are you on any of these specialty diets, Joe? Or do you just think you are and say you are? So let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> 
but in general, I mean, I Booze? you know, I'm 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 100 plant based guy. So and I eat lots of fruits. Oh, I believe that's why you give me that fake cheese. You're one of those. It's not fake cheese. <laughs> it's almond cheese. How are you gonna call it cheese? Cheese is a dairy product. Who says? I do. <laughs> okay. Well, Whoa. I'll, I'll yield. It's been forever. <laughs> cheese has been a dairy product. There's cheese that's made from dairy cows. What about uh, sheep cheese that it or goat cheese? Um, it's yeah, it's still animals from or, milk. Uh-oh. So from milk. Okay, it's coming from animals, and this is almond cheese coming from almonds. Yeah, but that's like almond water or almond milk. Almond milk is it's not almond milk. milk. It, uh-uh. It's almond milk. It's. Oh. Not some weird shit you're doing with water and almonds. Uh, it's nothing uh, to do with milk. Uh, 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 uh. Isn't that nice? So when you come on Rogan now, it's an interrogation. Yes. It's no longer a fun interview. You come on Rogan, you're going to be tested and tried to your limits here. This guy had to sit with him for four hours here. It's not really about what you're there to tell Rogan about yourself. It's you're going there to hear him tell you what he thinks. Look, I got this gradient covering Rogan's head. He looks like dang George Floyd. Wow. I can't podcast. I can't pot. Look at this fucking shit. Let's see if I can keep the hover. I can't podcast. Look, he's wearing blackface. Spotify has created what I call gradient blackface. Wow. This counts. <laughs> Sir, you're darkened. Was it worth it? Because you look like you've been uh, uh, burnt by an exploding cigar. I can't talk. <laughs> That's blackface to me. It's darkening the man's skin. It looks incredibly. All right, brown. do we have another time code here? This um, isn't fun anymore going I through this know. Spotify version. I'm not, uh, you know, uh, when I'm doing this, it's like an instrument, okay? I'm used to playing a guitar. Now all of a sudden they made the guitar with uh, 15 strings on it, and they're backwards. And, and the volume. When you play no- them, it takes a second for the noise. Yes, to come exactly. Out. So my instrument is totally off. It would be like if you took the piano and reversed all the keys on me. You see? Um, it's taking me out of my flow state. Call Bard. <laughs> yes. Bard did this. Okay. Oh, all right. You want to be in digital black? Look at how fucking black he looks on my screen, by the way. Joe Noir, they're calling him. I can't go on, someone says. I don't know what that means. Joe hanging with his homies. He looks like he's about to do a drive-by. Here, <laughs> he's so dark. All right? Looks like he's going to sell me some basketball candies. Um. Okay, what's our next? I had a black friend in high school, somebody said. George Rogan, they're calling. Yeah, he looks just like George Floyd. Um, I guess now you'd go to 98.55. Wow, 98.55. Let's see if I can do it. You know, I'm very drunk and high on the show. I can't be doing all this uh, intricate stuff here. People go, oh, it's so easy to work a timeline. Okay, drink as much as me. Try to work a timeline. What is it, 98.55? Yeah, I think. Okay, so we're going to come up. Don't worry, we'll get a work around here. I got to go, oh, look at that, 98.55, I think. All right, here you go. That's what well, people what do. if I'm really drunk? I, I may not remember. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. They say that like 84% of uh, vegans eat meat when they're drunk. Yeah. Did you ever hear the one I about I made that number up. I know way. that 93.6% of the people make up their own statistics. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Got them. I think it's 100%. Um, the, um, the thing about uh, plant-based uh, diets is you got to really make sure that you're supplementing correctly. Well, right? I've heard he this knows. before. He knows. Sure he knows. Supplies. Pretty sure well, the owner of Whole Foods knows about food. <laughs> you know, like imagine you're the CEO of Whole Foods. You know a little bit about foods and what they do and the diets, especially when you're operating the largest health food store in American history. <laughs> And also, you may have your opinions about what diet is better or whatever, but they spent the first hour of this podcast talking about how people on Twitter can't bend their opinions, yeah. and if we would just listen to each other, then America would be better, yeah. and Joe can't even let this guy talk about no. his life for two seconds without being like, whoa. Hard-headed, diet. black-faced, cannonball Joe. Okay, looks like he was shot from a cannon into a pirate boat. <laughs> uh, you know, with his scummy little face. And again, he's mean now. Remember, he's not nice. It's not fun. He said all he needs to say. This is the guy now. <laughs> he's so dark. He's so dark, bro. I can't breathe, I say. 
I can't br look at this guy. I mean, that is shut. That is, you know, I clean chimneys for a living. <laughs> shut. Okay. This is, uh, I had an accident in the fireworks one. <laughs> All right. Very tough. So let's hear him. He's going to mistreat this guy. Now, listen, I'm not a, a vegan. I hate vegans. And, uh, you know, I throw away meat. I don't, I also, I don't recycle. I don't care about wasting food at all. None of that intrigues me. Okay. It's not about helping the planet. It's about, am I intrigued? No. I throw everything out. Uh, in one can, I've never recycled in my life. Now, that's not a political decision, although Penn and Teller told me that recycling takes more energy than not recycling with all the trucks that they're rolling out and the plants and wow. the refabbing plastic. I just don't care. I <laughs> honestly don't care. I wouldn't care if everyone died if I threw a can of soda on the ground. You know, if they told me, don't throw your Wendy's wrapper on the ground, 16 million people, uh, before he even finished, the nuggets would be all over the floor, ketchup packs. Could care less. But Joe is still being very rude to another human being, which is against his MO, right? Here. We're waiting. Yeah, but I, think B12, I think B12 is the only one you really have to worry about. The only one? What about amino acids? Whoa. What about proteins? You ever heard anybody being deficient in protein that's not also calorie deficient? Well, there's the fight. The fight starts. Meaning the reaction to their body, are their, are their bodies optimized? I would say no. Yeah. I mean, in, in yes, I have seen oh. it because Froze. people, they Those lose body mass. They lose muscle mass. They lose strength and vitality. And I think you probably know that muscle mass and, and body mass strength is directly connected to longevity. You have to have enough protein so your body can repair itself so that if you're lifting weights, you're going to grow muscles. You have to have enough. You have to have adequate protein stores. But the extra protein, your body has to then go through complicated reactions to convert that into fuel, which actually puts the stress on the kidneys. On average, Americans eat about twice as much protein as they actually need. You, you're talking about glucogenesis? Oh, my like God. When you're taking yep. protein and converting it into <laughs> sugar? When you're That's damaging he's to the getting kidneys. Mad. He's getting mad. He's starting to get mad. That? Nutrition uh, fight. You, you got it. Instead time. of food. Yeah, I have. Wait. Food fight. <laughs> Technically, that works. This is the new. You know, people used to be fun, right? They'd throw an apple at your friend. This is the new food fight. Um, excuse me. How many amino acids do you get in your system per day? Oh, sorry. Is that glucose genesis? <laughs> I don't think so. That's a food <laughs> fight now. Back in my day, you throw pudding at a nigga. <laughs> now it's, oh, I'm sorry. How much vitamin D CCs are in coursing through your blood? <laughs> no. Food fight. Boring, <laughs> huh? Man. Anyways, Joe just gives him a hard time for literally like an hour and a half. You kind of get the idea. Okay, I guess. so where do we go um, now? We could go to 118.45. Wow, and I'm being forced to do yeah. math right now. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Takes me She's a beauty school dropout. One eighteen forty-five. We're gonna have to do some fifteen-second skips and wait. Up. Oh, it changed it to one o one o four. I'm not kidding. I was at one o eighteen. What is the code now? One eighteen forty-five. Yeah, watch this. I, I, I really, I'm doing it all here. One eighteen. This is really hard. <laughs> okay, I'm at one eighteen. Oh. I'm at 118.58. I'm going to go back 15 seconds. I think you might have. Okay. I'm at 118.43 now. Let's be careful. Then, now we do sell, we sell probably, I'm sure we sell probably one of the largest coffee distributors in the United States now, probably. Yeah, you probably are. I think out of, um, I think they've done studies on moderate coffee consumption that have shown it to not have a detrimental effect. There's no nutritive value in coffee except for perhaps some antioxidants. But coffee studies talk. do indicate that moderate consumption of coffee is consistent with longevity. Yeah. So I don't think it's a it's not a it's not like smoking cigarettes. It's not a, there's a, a cognitive benefit to it too that some people think uh, nicotine it, it's uh, worth the it's squeeze. A mental stimulant. Yeah. Problem is, I'm. I have to admit that I'm a decaf guy. Uh oh, I, I got here off comes coffee, coffee fight. But it tastes caffeine. like shit. Why not just drink? I'm gonna sneeze. Uh oh. <laughs>
We're so dangerous today. Thank God I've been tested. Absolutely. This is like if Mount Rushmore God. sneezed and blew a couple kids' heads off. So they're going to do a coffee fight. This guy only drinks decaf now, okay? He did the research. He said, caffeine is not for me. Like Josh Denny, right? Or James Valentine. <laughs> what is Valentine is from um, uh, Taxi Driver, right? Valentine. Vote Valentine. I don't know. Maybe not. But, uh, okay, so they're going to get into a caffeine frenzy here. Let's see how Joe treats this poor old man who just wants to sell some bananas. I'm infected and haven't no. shown up yet. I didn't. Um, but t tea tastes better. Why not just drink tea? Why would you want decaf coffee? Uh, I I I like uh, decaf espresso. It tastes oh. really good. Oh. You have to I like regular espresso. Oh. I, want to, I want to feel the juice getting in the yeah. veins. That's okay, bro. Uh, baby. So I like uh, decaf express espresso. I think it tastes good. Oh yeah, I like regular espresso. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't. You never. Not anything. You never. <laughs> so, he, and this guy's like, ah, oh, this is a lot of work. For and this me. is after Joe has been giving him an hour of fact checking by yes. Jimmy out of everything that so comes it's, out it's of his mouth. It's not fun to be on this show. And you're in a fact checking studio with a complete target. This too. is like the scene from The Flight Attendant when she gets interrogated by the FBI. Okay, well, we did not see The Flight Attendant. I know someone did. Here we go. <laughs> the darkness. I've taken that. I. <laughs> I was recovering. I, it took me when I got off of caffeine back in the year 2000. I had, first of all, I had physical withdrawal symptoms of headaches that lasted horrible headaches that lasted took about a week before the headaches went away. Really? And then I was exhausted. I was tired, and all I could think about if Here I would comes. have a cup of coffee or some tea right now, I'd feel good again. I'd have energy back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should have done it. <laughs> however, however, after 30 the days, all over the after place. 30 days. I got in the caffeine out of my system. It takes caffeine about seven days to completely leave, leave your system. Here's the big fight my, coming up, My right? adrenals began to be reestablished. Uh, adrenals. I got my own energy okay, back. You know that's bullshit? What? Oh, adrenals. That. Okay. So he goes, after seven days of drinking coffee, I finally my adrenals became active again. And Joe immediately goes, you know that's bullshit? Sean Baker told me. Michaela Peterson told me that's bullshit. Oh, what was our great Michaela Peterson joke? <laughs> Oh, um, it was about... Oh, Michaela Peterson is cured. Yes, so this is so funny. You know how Michaela Peterson and Jordan Peterson are on the all-meat diet, and they say that it's cured their illnesses. I think I figured out why they're able to legally say this with no factual evidence backing it up. Well, there are a couple definitions of the word cured <laughs> urban dictionary describes the second meaning of cured as nitrates and pastrami and corned beef and hot dogs jordan peterson wasn't cured of a disease he was cured michael is upon us it is time to seek refuge that's why he's so fucked up he's cured like a dang hot dog get it love that <laughs> like a meat Thank you. Um, Joe is about to violently um, uh, go against him and say the adrenals are bullshit. This puts this guy, the market for Whole Foods plummeted. The, uh, the What is it called? The stocks? Plummeting as Joe makes a fool out of this guy. Watch this. Come on. This is spot. What you just said is bullshit. Here. That you're taxing your adrenals. That's some voodoo nonsense that uh, those holistic people like to tell you. I don't that's, think that's true. Yeah, no, I've read it. There's a, there was a study on it recently where they were talking about like what it would actually take to t tax your adrenals, I, and then what people are talking about is a withdrawal from caffeine, which is real. Let me let me let me withdraw that statement because oh, that wasn't the okay. real point of it. The oh, point of it was that I like I that. That's own, an expert here. Okay, Joe, I see you're getting very off track, and uh, I would like to withdraw that statement so I could move the fuck on. That's a man at his wit's end with because Joe. Because every tiny slip-up that yeah. he might make, Joe will hang on that for an hour and a half. Yep. Here's some more. Let's see. Spotify, when come on. Vitality back. It was, I was no longer at the serve. I was no longer servant of the caffeine, which would determine when I felt good and when I didn't feel good. I just had my natural flow of energy and vitality 
And having compared He's the not two states, let go. this is a preferable state in my mind. I oh, feel I, a lot better. I not, believe that 100%. Up. Um, the, the problem I was having is that that adrenal thing. It's just oh, it's yeah, this thing that people say. He said he retracted they, that statement. A lot statement. of people say. Yes. I'm not a, I'm not a uh, that's what I've read. So, but I don't know it for any certainty. So I would. Yeah, I've read it I too. Just, but I, what Whoa. I do know is I felt a lot better when I got off the. Of, well, I'm sure ca- when I got off the of caffeine. You have a. I mean, it's a stimulant. I mean, that's what yeah. caffeine is. And you got to pay that. You create a debt. You got to pay mm-hmm. that stimulus back. Yeah, but I was. I recently read this article oh. by a nutritionist that was explaining, like, what would have to be, what what would have to go wrong in your system for you to tax your adrenals, and that's just not how it works. And that you're just dealing with a stimulant, and that your body is getting off of that stimulant, and like any other stimulant, there's going to be a withdrawal. Right. But it's not that you're taxing your adrenals. Okay. You know, oh. Let's see people say things like that. Like see, I can't do my great pauses and zooms. Look. I know. It's fucked. I can't hit them. There's no way we can watch Jerry again this unless sucks. it gets We got to figure this we out. We definitely. Well, we'll do it ourselves. I mean, we'll just record it and then play it from the recording because I got to do my zoom ins. I got to do my. I you know. know exact pauses. We're without the zoom in, I'm nothing without a zoom. Anyways, I'm nothing let's just without do a pause. One more of this, and yeah. such a pain in the ass. It really is. It's driving me nuts. It's uh, rather unenjoyable. Okay, what's uh, our 131. next one? 131.15. This is when the guy kind of snaps at Wait, Joe. One, are you sure the 131.15 yeah. or it's converted? I did a lot of math. Okay. I did a But that's back in time, right? Nope. Okay. It isn't? It is? Well, I don't know. It looks to be. Okay, 13108. We're going to start 131. here. 131. Yeah, perfect. It's waiting. We're waiting. Uh, I'm going to try to access the play button again. Oh, well, that's where we agree. We agree yeah. processed we foods are bad. So when you're getting this standard American oh, yeah. diet and, and they're we, applying let, it to an epidemiology it study where they're saying, oh, this person eats meat five days a week. Well, what else do they eat? So, the problem with those studies Joe, is they're so flawed. I'm, if you, I'm if not, you're making I'm, someone I'm, fill out a form. You're having an argument with somebody besides me, somebody <laughs> you've had an argument with in the past because I'm not saying oh. – that you're Listen. you're overreacting to things that I'm saying Whoa. based on some other discussions you've had in the past. Oh my God, react. you're overreacting to things I'm saying based on other discussions you've had in the past. Now Finally, that's a someone. Good own. I wish I could see his face, but it's so darkened with limo tint <laughs> that I can't see him. Let's hear this again. Can someone fill out a form? You're having an argument with somebody besides me. Somebody you've had an argument with wow. in the past. Because I'm not saying that you're you're overreacting to things that I'm saying based on some other discussions you've had in the past. I don't think I'm overreacting. Oh! If you're interested, <laughs> I will send you studies. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I, I, can, I can tell you that wow. the studies contradict what you're saying. <gasps> and that the you're angering him. Cannot do ju- because it's not as good as a randomized controlled study, which are hard to do in nutrition, does not make them worthless. It just means that they're not a complete answer, but they they do point in certain directions. <laughs> but they're conveniently pointing He's to the meat argument versus all the other stuff they're eating, now which Joe's we've shown up on to that, be bad uh, for you. It's thing people where have been eating meat. That documentary, yeah, where the it stupid all documentary on cancer. Sorry, all cancer on meat. Yeah. And Joe's like, it's only because you're getting rid of the chips and stuff from your diet. But this guy's like, that's not what I'm talking about okay. at all. And uh, Joe will not let him move past this topic. Treats him like shit. I wish I would do much more if it were enjoyable. Let's cut to the next guy. Yeah, that's a good and one. And we'll show you this rock, paper, scissors thing that everybody is talking about. I woke up to 100 messages. Mike, rock, paper, scissors. I said, shoot, what is it? They said, you've already lost. And, of course, yeah, I did. I lost with paper again. Uh Joe gets challenged to a rock, paper, scissors game by his next guest. This is the next show, and it's... uh Oh, you've got to find it on Spotify. Sorry. Oh, my God. But this is just one time code. Just so one time code. Thank on God. Here. Okay, let's go back here. Because I haven't watched this whole episode yet. And, just on this clip. Uh, we're just trying to work Spotify here, and it's going to be... That um, Moxie whatever. Moxie Marlin Spike. Is that really his name? What's a marlin spike when you're playing volleyball with a fish? I think it's a fake name, I heard. I don't know why, though. He's the creator of Signal. He's the creator of Signal, and that's like a texting app, correct? Yeah, an encrypted texting app. So this is like a 
This is a Bitcoin guy. type yes, guy. Exactly. So he knows Sorry, a I lot of. Uh, so. Um, then I okay, hold to, on. I gotta figure this out. Then I was just floating. Okay, so here's this guy, and uh, hopefully you can see him. He's gonna be blacked out a little bit. Typical uh, nerd here, uh, just trying to get along with Rogan. Rogan is not going to let that happen. Now, we haven't had the pleasure of watching this full episode we woke up this morning to. Mike, you got to see this rock, paper, scissors bit. So apparently they were having some sort of debate on who could win rock, paper, well, scissors. Well, this what guy this, was just telling the... a nice story about how he used to be yeah. a counselor at a sailing camp, because I guess he's into sailing, and he used to say he would get kids to do stuff by challenging them to rock, paper, scissors, and it was some kind of psychological yeah. experiment he did, and this is what happens. So 74. he's going to challenge Joe Rogan to rock, paper, scissors, and I guess Joe says, I could beat you in rock, paper, scissors, and he goes, okay, let's raise the stakes then if you could beat me, right? Seven, yeah, I think so. I can't quite 74 remember. 74 what? Quickly. 74 minutes, 7400. Jesus, man. That's a tiny number. I never thought I'd be in my 70s. You gotta, that's fine. 73, give it a little 73, more backstory. 73, 38. Oh. Yep, oh, we're good. All right, let's see what happens here. This is quite repulsive. His third abusive interview in a row. Not going well, Mike, you know where. And, but in a way that I was trying to, like, encourage. So we got it a nerd. It's fun to see... Um, particularly teenagers who had like a really sort of North American affect. The audio was awful. By the way. You know what's so um, funny? Just, like, let all of that go. He built this um, studio, mm -hmm. and his big claim to fame was that it's so acoustically sound. It's so acoustically great with all these acoustic vents everywhere. One thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, four thousand. How many thousands in acoustic vents? And this is what I hear. <laughs> I mean, the show sounds, you could record on your iPhone. Trisha Paytas does her TikToks with the iPhone headphone mic, and it sounds better than this when she's talking about Charlie D'Amelio. So this is the audio that this spaceship produces. Rock, paper, scissors. Time. Over a few weeks you know, on the ocean where it's just like, you know, it's just us. We're here. There's nobody else watching. Um... You know, we're sleeping next to each other. You know, it's like the kids just getting comfortable with um, themselves, you know. Mm. And, and, you know, I would try and, like, so I was, like. Um, Here we go. I am uh, really into rock, paper, scissors. Uh, How into it are you? I'm, I'm undefeated. <laughs> wow, okay, so this uh, is the challenge. Here it is. I'm really into rock, paper, scissors. One of the worst games. Bad graphics. <laughs> And uh, Joe goes, how into it are you? He goes, well, I'm obsessed. And I could win every time. And Joe goes, oh, yeah, I bet I could beat you. Because he is the champion, right? He's the alpha male. He's not going to let some dweeb beat him in rock, paper, scissors. So here's what happens. Impossible. So whenever they wanted <laughs> anything, I would be like, all right, rock, paper, scissors. You know, they were like, can we like do this thing? I'd be like, all right, we'll do rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you can do this thing. If I win, and then I would like pick the thing that was like their sort of deepest fear, you know, where it's like the really shy person had to like write a haiku about every day and then read it aloud at dinner. A haiku. You know, like the you know the person who was like really into like um, having like a manicure, like wasn't allowed to shave her legs for the rest of the trip, you know, like that kind of thing. Uh, wow. And so then by the end of it, it was just you like you it. know everyone had lost you know so everyone was like reading the haiku at dinner and doing you know how are you so good at rock paper scissors oh wow it's just you know skill muscle intuition intuition can we play right now you want to play yes wow oh, but i only play for stakes okay what oh. do you want to play for this is really interesting i only play for stakes okay what do you want to play for that sounds like a gentleman's agreement to me well, let's see. Will Joe allow this man's stakes? Will he uh, agree to his demands? Let's find out in this horrendous display of white supremacy. No, I don't know. But check this out. By the way, he's got a candle on his desk. R.I.P. George Floyd because they're burning your carcass with Joe Rogan's new black ash candle. Nothing says fuck him. Like black ash, okay? <laughs> Not even I would dare to display something like that on my desk. All right, so he's been challenged. I only play rock, paper, scissors for stakes. Joe goes, okay, what are your stakes? Let's find out. Elk stakes, that's very funny. There he goes, it's just waiting. Oh, you didn't press it. Oh. 
You missed. You never know. Here you go. Continue. Okay. How about the stakes? Uh, if I win, I do the programming on your show for a week. No. What? <laughs> That's worth a lot of money. You could fuck off. Whoa! What do you think of, what do you think of, See, I wish I could do my pauses. I can't do my pauses. No, that's worth a lot of money. You could fuck off. Now, what's programming? It means this guy wants to pick the guests yes. that are going to be on for the next week. That's if you lose. Joe Rogan was the one challenging him. Oh, yeah? I could beat in rock, paper, scissors. He goes, okay, you're so sure. If I lose, I get to do your programming for a week. I get to pick the guests. Joe says, fuck off. Let's hear some more. That's not, a, I'm not saying like the ads or whatever. I'm saying like, like the, programming, like who's going to be yeah, on? who's going to be on? That's not possible. We're booked up months and months in advance. You were so and confident until no. just now. We no, no, pick no. A month that, that's, wow. that's, that's ridiculous to flip a coin uh -oh. on that. There's, there's no chance. I mean, what what, what would be Because the then you'd make me have conversations. Listen, the whole reason why this show works is because I talk Don't to people that I want to talk to. Uh -huh. That's why it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, the you, only you way. You something to play this game. That's yeah. not a risk. That's, it's just that's, one week of your No, life that's abandoning the show. It's one week of your Whoa. life. No, you could bring some assholes on here that I want to talk to, and then I'm like, what am I doing? Whoa. Impossible. Impossible. Well, do you think that there's something of equivalent value? No. There's you no know there. somebody's Nothing turned into a snap. Look at this. Uh, impossible. That's like saying, science! <laughs> Who says impossible? Impossible. Well, Joe. <laughs> um, he goes, what a value do you have here? Can I? Oh. Okay, got to go 15 seconds back. Well, I can't do that. That would be a tremendous backing. Here. Let's see what happens. No, do. there's nothing that you could give me that would be worth a week of programming on the show. Ooh. What are you going to give me? You'd what have about to the day of you'd have to give me what, a spectacular uh, amount of money. I sent you a. <laughs> you know, you know, like, if order, but I, I would. But that's the only way I would be like the only way. Like if you ever put a monetary equivalent to that, it would have to be a spectacular amount of money for me to let <laughs> someone really? else program the show. I've never let anybody do that before. Not even that for was, one day. No. That was the big one of the big things about doing this show on Spotify. Spotify. It could have no impact at all oh, on who gets on. No, no impact, huh? Oh, really, dude? I guess you got that right. I don't think he knows what impact means. Because this is impactful <laughs> to me. Students, no nothing. The only way it works. Well, what was up with that dude in the suit outside Look. with the clipboard that was telling me from Spotify? Oh, he's from the government. He's Whoa. From CIA. Whoa. There's no one out there. He's There's no one out there. But... The only way the show works, I think, the way it works is I have to be interested in talking. This to gets people. worse. That's it. So it's it has to be. I get a I have like all these suggestions for guests. I go, oh, that guy seems cool. Oh, that might be what, interesting. What if I let me read up on this what guy? What if it's like for a week? I no. give you the list of suggestions. No. Whoa! No input. No input. Oh. He's not no, budging. That's that's a ridiculous. Stand real. Stand real. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Impossible. Impossible. In any case, how about five bucks? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it's gotta be. Come stakes. on, man. It's be twenty bucks. Stakes. Twenty no, bucks. I got twenty on. bucks in my pocket. Wait, money is off the table. We can't. Do Money's money. off yeah. the table. Forget that. All right. Sounds like someone's scared to lose it. Rock paper scissors. Whoa! It sounds like someone else is scared to lose it. No, rock, you're paper. asking me for something that's ridiculous. <laughs> Fine. You don't have anything. You don't have anything that's worth a week uh, of programming on this show. <laughs> you don't have it. You don't have anything. That is worth as much as a week of my life. Plus, also, this guy creates apps. It's not like he's a complete this is a big idiot guy. scrub. I mean, he this is a big a guy. He's a millionaire, millionaire guy. Too. To Joe, that is nothing. You don't have anything. <laughs> so this is the King Joe now, the new version of Joe. This isn't very mushrooms, bro. Tread lightly around him or yeah, he'll fucking Yeah, wow. Flip. And he's got, do you see this? He set up a stopwatch. So that when the guests keep rambling, he goes, oh, sorry, we've run out of time. <laughs> and he points to the clock. Is there anything more degrading than putting someone on the clock like that? So and that no that he, you should maybe go back 15 seconds because that okay. no that he did was like so whiny. That was like a fighting with your wife when she was like, no. Yeah, let's no. see this again. Well, we can't Money's off yeah, the table. Forget that. All right. Sounds like someone's scared to lose it. Rock, paper, scissors. It sounds like someone else is scared to lose it. No, you're paper. asking me for something that's ridiculous. Fat. You don't have anything. You don't have anything that's worth a wow. week of programming on this show. You that's, don't have it. That's rough. It doesn't exist. That's rough. That's rough. No, it doesn't. It literally doesn't exist. Okay, we yeah. got it. Like there's not, it, like you don't. There's nothing that you can have that you could offer me 
that I couldn't buy myself. Oh, I'll make, I'll, 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 no, no, no. I think will be interesting. No, no, no. Talking with them. You can't. Right. No. All right, fine. All right. But that doesn't we do anything for me. That does wow. something for no, no, you. That course, does zero of course for you me. Would have if the you money man. Would name your steak. Yeah, I don't have a steak. Okay, okay. There's nothing I want for you. You know, I hope That's, he's installed you ask? big antlers on all of his limousines <laughs> as he rolls through Texas. Mr. Bigwig here. There is no amount of money. Not unless it's a butcher box, huh? Only butcher box can get, uh, get you to, to bend for two minutes. Huh? What about Manscaped? Do they have enough money to make you bend? Because I just sat through six ads. But you won't play rock, paper, scissors with a faggot! He's a horrible person now. And you know that he He's thinks, in blackface. Since he doesn't read the comments, he thinks that this stance that he's taking is, like, impressing yeah, everybody. No. He thinks that he's pulled the wool over yeah. all of our eyes about all the other schemes, and he's going, oh, that's why I'm the most famous guy. I he's a bad person now. Scissors with my show's concern. Let's see how they get out of this one. Just waiting for Spotify. For me, it's a crazy thing. Game. Yeah, we can't play rock, paper, scissors then, huh? Interesting. Anyway, we were talking about something else before all of this. We were talking about uh, crypto, cri the, the evolution sailing, of crypto. Sailing, sailing with children. Sailing Ooh. with children. Well, first we were talking about Anguilla. Yes. And the fact yeah. that we're going to Yeah. Okay. Um, so how did you learn another how enemy, to Another enemy made, Joe. And how long will this go on? It's going to keep going on, as predicted. The money man, Joe Rogan. We're going to have to come up with a whole new concept for how we watch him. But believe me, he's not off the hook that easy. Um, I think that's going to do it for us today. What a wonderful time. Did you have fun today, Jules? I did have fun. I had a blast. Um, thank you so much for listening to this Scars Club episode. I know the worst part of Red Bar, the ending. I had an amazing time. Consider joining the Scars Club, redbarradio.net slash scars. It'll give you all the episodes. In fact, our player works better than Joe's. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Our day has come. Finally, my player works better than others. <laughs> uh, I had a blast. I guess we'll see you next time. And uh, and um, and uh, you've been a blast. Everybody's been a blast, right? Love you. Goodbye! Thank you. Bye. See ya. Mike! Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. brings you the